What's going on guys? Starting this video off with a light arm, shoulder, and ab workout. I'm only doing 30 pound dumbbells here, dumbbell girls, but I'm getting that squeeze, that one or two second squeeze at the top. That's what today was all about. Then I moved on to some cable curls. The cables are a little bit less than shoulder height. And again, I'm focusing on getting that squeeze. Uh, today I did a lot of drop sets, a lot of supersets. Um, you know, five sets to probably 10 to 12 reps for every uh, workout. And then here I'm doing some straight bar curls. Again, this was a drop set. And then here I'm just showing a different angle. Also, it was a pretty quick workout. There was very limited rest time between each exercise. Then I went on to some side lateral raises with a straight bar. If you've never done these, it makes you balance it a little bit differently. And you know, it's just a way to change things up. So give it a try, keep those muscles guessing. Then I did do some plate front raises. I don't do these all the time, but again, today was a quick exercise, so I wanted to do them and I wanted to do some different things. Then I went on to uh, some preacher curls on a you know preacher, preacher curl machine. And again, it was focused on getting that squeeze at the top. It wasn't all about the weight. It was about getting the squeeze and getting the pump. Then I moved on to some rear delts. Um, this is the only exercise I did for rear delts. And then I moved into abs. And here I'm just doing a hanging leg raise, but I'm doing it over a bar so that you know my legs have to come up a certain height. And I probably do two ab workouts. Uh, you know two to three times a week and that's you know five sets of 12 to 15 reps and then here i'm doing some hanging uh, knee raises i will try to do a better job adding ab workouts into these videos more because it is something i get asked often but that's going to wrap it up for this commentary surprisingly not a bad workout you know sometimes when you go into the gym you're not really feeling it that was kind of me today i wasn't really feeling it um but then i just got into it and it went very well. Much better than I expected. It's Sunday. Oh, and I have my post-workout shake already. I'm drinking that. It's Sunday though, so it is meal prep day for me. Groceries. And before I do that, Alex is sitting over there. I need to eat still, so I think we're gonna do a cheat meal, which you'll see here in a little bit. It's probably gonna be some pizza. So, because I do need to eat, all I had was that um, protein shake after my workout. I definitely need some food. And the pizza is going to be some great calories. All right, groceries. Let's see, I have 12 eggs. I'm going to do two for breakfast. Then, there's a receipt. Put that over there. I have seven Greek light yogurts for the smoothie. All right, where'd it go? Oh, it I have a large container of 4% cottage cheese and a large container of low fat cottage cheese. And that's for my bedtime snack. I did not have to get frozen fruit this week because I bought it in the middle of last week. Uh, but I have a onion, and this is actually gonna be for the, Alex is Snapchatting me right now. This is gonna be for the uh, chili, which I'm making this week. So something I've never made before. You guys are in for a treat. Some acorn squash. I have five of them. Um, I like them. I generally eat them around fall, you know, in the fall time, so October, September-ish. We'll see how those come out or how I'm gonna make them. I have two containers of silk almond coconut milk, unsweetened, and those are the ones that were on sale this week, that's why I got them. I don't do a lot of milk just because milk doesn't sit well with me, so if you're ever wondering why I don't drink milk, it doesn't sit well, and I don't think it's the healthiest. I think there are healthier options. Um, the almond coconut milk being one of them, and I think it tastes pretty good. I have some apples, which I'll probably eat one for breakfast, and maybe I'll eat one again in the afternoon. Probably put some peanut butter on them as well. Then, for the chili, I have several 
cans. So I have three cans of the kidney beans. Uh, there's another can in here somewhere. I have three of them. Um, I have three cans of chicken broth. And then I have, there's another chicken broth. There's another kidney bean. All right. Then I have three cans of the, something's wet right here. I don't know what that is. Uh, three cans of the diced tomatoes. This one has with jalapeno. And then I have one that's just regular. So it's gonna add a little bit of spice to the chili. Also for the chili, I had to get a bunch of spices. Um, I have chili powder. I have cayenne pepper. I have some ground cumin. And then I have cinnamon. So the recipe I'm actually following is from the Men's Health Big Book of Food and Nutrition. And it's actually called, let's find it. There it was. It's called Ultimate Game Day Chili. I'll take a picture of it, or maybe I'll just um, put it in the description, the recipe. But I am modifying it slightly, uh, one to be a little bit more, because I'm gonna eat it for two meals, and also to up the calories. So, you'll see it though. Where do I have over here? So I have some teriyaki uh, kebabs. I have two packages of these. I will most likely eat them for my second lunch. So first, first lunch is gonna be chili, and then the second lunch will be chili as well, but I might add some of these. I'm not sure, maybe I'll add a couple of them for dinner. The chili is kind of throwing me off on, on how many calories it will be and exactly what I need, so I'll figure it out, calculate it, don't worry. I have two pounds of Angus beef, 90-10, two of them. These are for the chili. And then my mom always used to make chili with some uh, sausage. So I have some reduced fat uh, medium sausage, which will again add a little bit more spice and a little more flavor to the chili. I think I like the way she makes chili and she adds sausage, so I'm gonna add sausage. So the acorn squash is most of my vegetables, but if it's not enough, again, because I haven't made it in a while, I don't know if it'll be enough. I have these uh, Asian medley, a couple of bags, uh, they're steam fresh. Then for dinner, I'm gonna do um, some ground turkey. Got two pounds of 93.7 ground turkey. So I'm gonna do ground turkey, um, if I have some eighth course wash left, I'll use it for that or not. Or if I don't, I will have the uh, steam fresh and then I'm also going to do rice with it. And then I'll probably use some Frank's Red Hot <coughs> or we have Cholula, right? Yeah. Or Cholula. I like that stuff. This total came out to 76.63. So that's all the groceries. And we're about to eat a cheat meal, hopefully. Perfect, and then I'll show you the prep. Stick around.
Alex is back with the pizza. I didn't realize the larges were this big. We probably should, we probably should have known that, but let's see which one is this. That one's yours. That one is mine. That is the Mac Attack, and that is a large. And Alex has the Gyro. Uh, Euro. You're supposed to say Euro. Whatever. See Euro? Yeah. Okay. Well, he has a Chicago Euro, and I have the Mac Attack. Actually, I have a Mac Attack. That's really good. I told you, every time I tell you it's so good, I don't know why you don't eat it. Then he tries to cop bites off my pizza. I don't know why he does that. But then we're also going to watch The Nice Guys. So, never seen that, I've heard really good things about it. And the prep is on a momentary hold. Well, the rice is cooking, and the acorn squash is cooking, that takes an hour. And the chili needs to simmer for like an hour, but I'm assuming that the longer the chili cooks, the better it's gonna taste. So I'll probably let it go for like two hours. Alright guys, meal prep is done. It is 11 o'clock at night. Alex, what are you doing? Do its laundry. Do its laundry. Prep is done though. It is different this week. So I made a big old batch of chili, which I will put the recipe below. And then I have some ground turkey. I have chicken. I have a bunch of acorn squash. And I have rice. For two meals a day, I'm going to have chili and an acorn squash. And then for dinner, I'm gonna have some rice and some ground turkey and some chicken and more than likely the steamable vegetables. But the only reason I didn't, you know, put them in containers, what are you doing? <laughs> I think you're, I mean, you're already probably in it. But the only reason I didn't put them in containers is because the chili um, it was going to be for two meals, so if I didn't package the chili up, I just thought, why package anything else up? But I'll do a full day of eating video so that you can see, you know, how I eat the meals and which meals I eat. And, yeah, what else? Then I'm just going to put the meals in the fridge. I store everything in the fridge. That is going to wrap it up for this week's meal prep and grocery haul. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Again, I know it was different. But, yeah, just let me know what you guys thought. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.